Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. And listen, it's fall. It is time to come out with the dedicated fall EDC for 2022. Now, what does that mean? I like to rotate my EDC gear, but for the most part, there's a set of gear. Even if I'm trying something out for a couple of weeks, I tend to come back to that way. I just have a level of consistency when I drop everything into my catch all boom, bam. I know exactly what I'm going to be carrying unless I'm replacing one specific item. Now, the first thing we got to talk about is the knife. The knife that is being carried is the mini Benchmade Osborne, the 945. This is the BK, meaning it's the black. I'm trying to get this thing going. I'm, I really want to work this thing out more, use it a little bit more. It's not as slicey as the bug out. And that could be an issue if I'm going to be a cardboard warrior, if I'm an Amazon warrior. But it has been doing well around a house type of task, cutting through threading. I've had to cut through some, you know, electrical type stuff that's laying around that's unplugged, of course, so I won't freaking kill myself. But I really want to give this thing a go. I really love the blue and the black colorway that's going on with this thing with the spacers. I'm not a fan of kind of the sloppiness. If you look in there, those the hardware is kind of peeking through. I'm not a huge fan of that. There's other knives that don't quite have that, but it's so lightweight. It feels just as light as the bench may bug out. Now, along with that, I am trying my best to give the Leatherman Wingman a go. I'm so in love with the Leatherman Free P4 that rocking the Wingman can sometimes be a difficult task, but it is almost as capable as the Free P4. The only difference is you can't access any of these tools while the actual device is closed so in order to access it you have to open this thing up but then you have access to all of these different tools in here and of course as long as it does have the things i care about that's all that really matters because the things that you can access from the outside are the pair of scissors so that's going to be the item that's in my left pocket now, I carry items in my pockets. I don't care what you think or what you say. I carry them all the time. Depends on what I'm wearing, if I carry everything or if I don't. If I'm wearing jeans, a bunch of this crap's gonna be getting carried. If I'm wearing basketball shorts or something similar, I might just carry the knife. So let's just keep that in mind. If you're getting good content out of this video, make sure you hit that like button below. It lets YouTube know they need to share my mug with other folks on the platform. Now, moving on, we're gonna look at the Angel Eyes. This is the E200U. This flashlight has been very handy when it comes to walking the freaking K9 in the morning, USB Type-C charging on the side. It does have multiple modes here. You just kind of hold it down whenever you want to engage the flashlight to different multiple modes. Here on the side, you push this light. This has a feature, quote unquote feature, which allows for you to sanitize doorknobs. I don't know how well that crap works, but this also allows for you to check freaking if you have any fluids, pet urine, anything on a bed or anything like that by pushing this side button. To engage the main flashlight, you push this button here. And of course it dims down and up depending on how you hold it. So lots of different modes on this thing. It does have a very capable pocket clip, which I've been a fan of. And I've tested out so many flat flashlights lately. And there's so many more that I like more than this one. But the reason I like this one a lot, it has a battery indicator there. So it tells you how much battery you got left. Let's pop pushing that button. So you see I have three bars left, which is about 75%. And it's very small. A lot of flat uh, flashlights aren't this small and it has a tripod mount. So I do YouTube crap. So I could literally mount this onto a, one of my tripods or whatever the case may be. And I can use this to illuminate an area. So it doesn't have a flexible head. It's not a magnetic base like some of its competitors, but I've been enjoying this thing and I'm gonna give this a go in my pocket for the fall. Now. I'm required to carry two phones because I have a day job. Now, my personal phone is the Google Pixel 6. I am very interested in getting the new Google Pixel 7, whatever the heck they're gonna be calling it, what it's gonna be, you know, I'm probably gonna get the bigger screen this time. I'm a fan of this thing's camera. If you see any of my Instagram photos, make sure you're following me on Instagram. Link is down below, shameless plug. It's probably taken with this camera if I'm trying to take a quick photo. If I want a more detailed photo, we'll talk about the camera I use here in a second. And for my work phone, I carry the iPhone 13 mini. This thing's just, it's just a wee baby. It's, it's nice. I use this thing for Instagram reels all the time. It has a fantastic video camera. Now, if we take a look at the things that cover my eyes. Now I rotate sunglasses and I have two sets of glasses I have almost with me most of the time. Now these are 
just a pair of Nike. These are the Navigators. These are the EV 1021s. Very, very nice sunglasses here. I mean, just tell me I don't look cool with these on. So of course, what I like about these things is if you get these things all scratched up, you can buy replacement lenses very easily. If you don't like the ones that come with it, you need something that's polarized, you can buy those as well. Amazon specials to swap these things out. This is my third set of lenses because I have kids and kids have phalanges and they scratch shit up. I have switched up my keys for the season. Now the Orbit Key Key Organizer was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought I was gonna not be a fan of that big bulky leather, but the Esker keys, the Esker keys, my friend, are jingle free. Just, do you hear, literally. You only hear the keys hitting my knuckles. These are completely jingle free keys when it comes to being able to keep your keys nice and condensed. And this time I can keep my key fob for my truck in this thing, keep house keys, daycare fob to pick up the kiddos. So now I've gone back to the wing back wallet when it comes to my everyday carry. This is just an elegant wallet. I did have my name put on the front. On the back, it has their very subtle logo, but it's just a fantastic, fantastic wallet. This thing here, if you wanna put a billfold in there, you can. It carries, you know, about five, six cards in there, whatever you need, but it's just so sleek. It feels great in the front pocket. It has a very, very capable button on the front. I just can't say enough good things about this freaking wallet. Now, one thing that I have definitely been in love with lately has been tactile turns, forced patina, side click pin. This thing here is ugly and I like it. This is their side click pin with forced patina. In comparison, this is tactile turns. This is their mechanical pencil. Now this here is in their copper colorway. It's starting to get some patina from the oils from my hand and all that stuff. It's starting to slowly patina it. But now they sell it where you can just buy it already full of patina. Like Jeremy Sire says, patina, patina, patina. This thing lays down ink well. It's not ballpoint. It lays, it's just really great to write with. Even the pencil is great to write with. I'm back on the field books. The field books, man, these things are very, very affordable. They're very capable. I like these because they fit in the pocket. They allow for me to take quick notes. And the way that I like to do things, the journal's my main go-to. But when I'm walking around and I wanna be able to take a quick note, this is what I keep in my back pocket. So the field books, I got it in this wood colorway. They make them in all sorts of colorways. Easy to pick these things up on Amazon. Finally, this will always, until they make an upgrade, be a part of my EDC. This is the Fuji Film X100V. Now, how the heck do I carry this thing? I can stuff this in a hoodie pocket, especially for the fall. I can stuff this thing in a sling bag, which I carry all the time. Just got a couple of new sling bags I'm excited to test out. This thing takes the buttery, most icy photos of any of the cameras that I've used. Cell phone cameras are great, but they're usually so oversaturated. They don't look real. They look, you know, just too over the top. Whereas the photos that come out of this thing almost look like film-like, like I've been taking fo uh, uh, photos with a camera from the freaking 70s or something like that. I love this thing. I got a freaking glimmer glass on the front to kind of soften the photos up even more. Any of the stuff here, absolutely check out the links down below if you're interested in picking any of these things up. Some of those will be affiliate links, so if you use them, no extra cost to you, they're gonna help out the channel. Let me know what's gonna be a part of your fall EDC for 2022. Anything here that I should swap out, suggest down below. Maybe I'll take it, maybe I'll tell you to pound sand. Let's just see how it goes. If you're not a part of the battalion, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you a part of the battalion. If this is your first time stopping here, thank you for stopping by. For everyone else,